This is Mike Horton, project creator of GeoNet here in our hardware lab in Silicon Valley. I chose our hardware lab to shoot this podcast because I want to discuss the trade war. The media describes the USA and China as decoupling. I describe it as a decentralization. It's actually decoupling or decentralizing some of the mutual dependence created through globalization itself. We are not planning for this to fully resolve itself quickly. Actually, we believe that this trade war is a major opportunity for decentralized physical infrastructure networks or the Deepen movement itself to shine. It's a chance for Deepen's inherent borderless approach to outperform. GeoNet itself has three major initiatives that are leaning into this trade war. Number one, decentralized hardware production. In 2024, GeoNet approved a second company, a second manufacturing location for GeoNet hardware in India. So now the network has a hardware production at one company in China and at another company in India. In 2025, we've started efforts to add a Made in America miner. Back at the Consumer Electronics Show in January, we announced a partnership with Septentrio, and we are proud to note that a version of the GeoNet reference station with the Septentrio GeoNetSS will be produced here in the USA. Number two, risk five. For robots to make it into consumer hands, massive, low power compute is required. Today's embedded systems largely use ARM cores, but these are expensive and face challenges as the architecture itself is controlled by a centralized for-profit entity. GeoNet is hard at work on a roadmap to develop new powerful code, blending RTK, Vision, LiDAR, and more for the RISC-V architecture. We'll talk more about this development soon. But, by the way, Vitalik, co-founder of the Ethereum Foundation, posted last weekend on the possibility to use RISC-V to speed up the Ethereum virtual machine itself. While our goals are different, we agree that RISC-V is key to the future of Web3 and robotics alike. Number three, the Intercognitive Initiative. GeoNet, Alki, Peak, and Mowari have formed a growing standards initiative called Intercognitive. We think this initiative can help set standards for interoperable component level technology and Web3 services that will be key to combat centralization of robotic technology as well as combat the trade war too. We believe this initiative, and we'll talk about it more, can help keep the robotics playing field decentralized and leveled. So there you have it, three ways that GeoNet will beat the trade war and help spread the gospel of decentralization. Hope you've enjoyed this podcast. Please like and subscribe and wish you happy mining. GeoNet, mind the sky.